Hello loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm coming to you with my summer goddess bronzy look. That's the only way I can describe it. But I'm gonna show you a few products that I, a new product that has came out within the last week or so in Columbus, and I am loving the product from Volta. Um, the first product I'm gonna be showing is the Anastasia Amrezi palette. And I wasn't really interested in the palette when I first saw it because I saw the colors, but once I saw it you know, on the shelves and I opened it and looked at it, I love the colors. Um, it's a love-hate relationship with this palette. I do not care for these two colors. Um, really don't. What drew me to this palette was these three colors right here. And these two shades right here remind me of uh, some neck eyeshadows. I'm not sure if it's brown scripting. Uh, what does this one remind me of? I'm not sure right now, but you could, mad people probably know what I'm talking about. And this deep plum shade. Um, the whole top row is metallic and shimmer colors, and the bottom row is matte. Except for this one, it's called Vanilla. It reminds me of Vanilla Pigment from MAC, and it has a slight sheen to it. This is what I came up with. Also, I finally introduced um, the Urban Decay's mascara, the Perversion mascara, and the Submersion that comes with this the primer right here, and this is the coating for the mascara that goes over it. And I like it. Um, it's something to work with, but so far so good. I like the product. Um, this is Benefit's Their Real Push-Up Liner, and it's a screw top that has a little clickable when my product comes out of it, so I can see it. But yeah, it takes some time to work with. It's very hard. Um, some people on YouTube make it look easy. It is not so easy at all. Yeah, this is the look I wanted to do, and I wanted to use a bright orange lip that I am absolutely in love with. I wear this look like, like every day. <laughs> if you're interested in how I got this bronzy goddess look, please continue watching. First color from the Amrezi palette, I'm going to give you camera. I'm gonna go after that in Morocco as well in both of I'm gonna use both of these in my crease. Now I'm gonna go in with my Morphe Brushes blending brush. I'm going to go in with the color Glisten in the inner corner of my lid and in the middle I'm going to go with Topaz. I'm going to go back in with my flat shader brush from Morphe and I'm going to use this color called Deep Blum. Now what I like to do with my lids because I don't have a prominent lid. I feel like I should just look way more better on prominent lids for some reason. But what I do, I put a darker eyeshadow right against my nose bone. Kind of blend it up into my brow bone. It's to create dimension as though I do have lids. Now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with Benefit's Their Real Push-Up Liner. As you can see, it has a little stopper in there to keep the product from drying out. You have to put that in there after every use or else your product will dry out way more than it should. Lid. 
done with my liner <laughs> as best I can. This is my first time using it, so yeah, it is really dark. And I like the effect it gets. It's a little hard to work with, but it's something you gotta get used to. So I'm not a class, but smooth. I think it came out pretty well. Yeah. Seeing my actual makeup arts, like, you know, more function than me, like, struggle with this, um, so I'm like, damn, you ain't gonna be able to do this shit. <laughs> now, I went ahead and applied my lashes off camera, um, because I think I had to go over the line with my regular gel liner because it was kind of skippy, um, but yeah, these are the, the Ardell Natural Dewis, not Dewis Beast, I think they're Dewis Beast, I'm think, because I just got them laying around, so I don't know what they are. I think they're whiskeys. But now I'm going to go in with the new Urban Decay's uh, Perversion Mascara. It comes with um, a primer called the Subversion, and it's supposed to coat the lashes to make it longer, thicker, and kind of spread out evenly. Uh, so when you go back in and fill it in with the coat of mascara, it won't be too clumpy, and it's not clumpy at all. I've actually tried it on my real lashes. But I'm just gonna go in with this mascara. As you can see, I went ahead and applied my foundation and contoured every and highlight everything off camera because I have loads of other videos um, showing my foundation routine or my newly updated foundation routine if you haven't seen that check that out that's what it's missing I forgot the damn put highlighter on my nose okay I'm going to go in with Max <coughs> Loose Powder in Golden Bronze. It's a very golden, rose, shimmery powder. I'm sure you have seen me use this before. I'm just going to get my blush brush from the Techniques. Dip it in there real good. And highlight the prep of my cheek. You see that golden glow? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Went ahead and um, shaded the under eye with um, caramel and Morocco. No, I'm sorry, Morocco and deep plum. Morocco's in the corners. You can see it's a little more red, and in the outer corners. It's kind of dark, so I put Deep Plum back in there. Now, the lipstick that I'm going to use is Lady Danger by MAC, and it is an orange neon lipstick. Um, I would use um, my favorite lipstick, which is Velvet Teddy, but I lost it at work the other day. I'm really pissed about that. <laughs> I tore my apartment up looking for that damn lipstick, my car, everything. I could not find it, so I'm going to use this. And I absolutely love, love this lipstick. This bright ass lipstick is not for everyone, of course. But sort of the little summer trend. I love this lipstick. Especially 
without a liner. See how bold that is? It is so pretty. And I just think it goes with my bronzy goddess look. Mm -hmm. This is my finished look. The bronze goddess. <laughs> Featuring uh, the summer trend for 2014, which has been the neon bold orange lip. And I'm loving it. Comment, like, subscribe. Um, check out my other videos, my previous videos for other products I have reviewed, um, tutorials, and my updated foundation routine because it's completely different. Until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.